guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So Party basically confirms what I said in my most recent video of Megan Thee Stallion about how she did not put hands on him, okay? He said that was Cap. Um, then he said him and Megan are locked in. Now, do I believe that um, him and Megan are locked in? No, I believe he's locked out the house, okay? Um, for whatever reason, he keeps talking, yet Megan is so silent. And I feel like he's trying to stall and trying to get her back. And that's why he's hoping that she continues to be quiet. Because then when it's time for her to pop out and go to these award shows like the Grammys, you know, he can go with her because we know that party needs the clout. Okay. Um, he's the least relevant one in this relationship, yet he's always talking and trying to clarify things while Megan is silent. That's a red flag. Where is Megan? Why isn't she confirming anything? Why is she so silent? Now, a lot of people think it has something to do with the case, and that could be true. But at the end of the day, Party doesn't need to clarify anything. He's going out of his way to clarify things. Nobody was even really talking about that, okay? Um, you know, Megan putting hands on you. Like, you know, there was a few blogs, but a lot of people really didn't pick up that story. You gave it more air, okay? You gave it more of a breath, okay? So... I feel like Party is a clout chaser and he's trying to get back with Megan Thee Stallion and that's why he's hoping that she um, is going to continue to be silent, okay? And so he can pop out with her. He knows that she has all the clout and he needs the thotties to stream his SoundCloud music, okay? He probably got no streams yesterday and he saw that and was like, listen, let me go say something about Megan Thee Stallion so they can stream my music, Moving on to this, though, uh, Megan Thee Stallion and Shanisa got a collaboration coming out Friday. Now, I'll be honest with you. I don't really listen to Shanisa like that. Um, a lot of people think that she's going to replace Rihanna. To me, she doesn't have enough clout to replace anybody because at the end of the day, um, she's not really putting in the numbers like that here in the U.S. like Rihanna. Um and another thing is, this really only benefits her. This doesn't really benefit Megan Thee Stallion. Um, but hopefully it's a hit record. Hopefully it's a hit because I'm tired of Megan Thee Stallion trying to use her breakup with Party to deflect and distract us from this case with Tori. Okay? Maybe if she get a hit record, that will distract us enough. But not me, because I'm keeping tabs, okay? Because if it comes out that Tori is innocent, Megan, um, unfortunately, you know, the black people, not even me, because I don't really like Tori like that, but the black people going to be on your ass. I'm just letting you know now. Hopefully, you have a plan B, okay? Or maybe you should not take plan B, okay, and get pregnant. That's the only way people are going to sympathize, you know, with you. If you are lying, okay? So hopefully you got your ducks in a row because, girl, if Tory Lanez is innocent, the black people going to be on your ass. They're not going to care about these collaborations. Moving on to Hennessy, Cardi B's sister. She posted um, a photo. And basically, You the Boss by Rick Ross and Nicki Minaj was playing in the background. She quickly posted and deleted um, and a lot of fans were picking it up. Now, people were asking me because they were sending it to me. They were asking me, do I feel like she was genuine? Yeah, I mean, all these chicks listen to Nicki Minaj. It don't matter if you like her personality or not. It doesn't matter if you think she's a bitch or not. You listen to Nicki Minaj because she's a legend. Don't get it twisted. All these chicks are fans of Nicki Minaj and they can't even hide it. Of course, she's not listening to Cardi B. Cardi B only got one album out and the album is tired. We need new music. Okay. She doesn't have a catalog like Nicki Minaj and we all know that. So with that being said, no, I'm not shocked that she's listening to Nicki Minaj. I do think it's a little bit corny to delete it. Stand 10 toes down. Okay. 
Um, Cardi B probably listens to Nicki Minaj. I mean, these girls are fans. There's old tweets of Cardi B supporting Nicki Minaj, just like there's old tweets of the city girls, um, you know, showing support to Nicki Minaj. But when they get famous, they want to, you know, switch up and that, you know, people get in their ear. But you got to stand 10 toes down. That's the only way people will really respect you, including Nicki Minaj. So I don't really feel like there's anything wrong with her listening to Nicki. Just stand 10 toes down. If you're a fan, you're a fan. I mean, most of you girls try to act and look like Nicki anyway. So you might as well just come out and say, I'm a Nicki Minaj fan. Okay? Anyway, moving on to Walmart, y'all say. And the real Yonce, um, it looks like they will be competing because they are both nominated for the NAACP Image Awards, okay, for Outstanding Female Artists. Um, so let me know who deserves to win. Now, Ari Lennox is also nominated, Jasmine Sullivan, and I believe her, okay? Um, to me, there's nothing outstanding about Chloe except you know, her thirst on social media. Okay. Um, have mercy was not an outstanding record and we know that. Okay. She's only nominated because of the queen of music and the queen of music is only nominated because she's the queen of music. The be alive record had little to no hype. Um, nobody was talking about that record. Okay, but, you know, I think this uh, war show is for black people anyway. So they had no choice but to nominate Chloe and Beyonce. Um, but the Be Alive record was a good record, but nobody really cared about it. Okay, so the fact that it's getting nominated just means that, you know, Beyonce has a lot of pull. Okay, um, so let me know what you guys think about that. Um, do I feel like Chloe deserves to win? I feel like maybe the Queen of Music will allow her to win. Does she deserve it? No, she doesn't deserve anything right now. I mean, Have Mercy was a trash record, in my opinion. And so was that record she did with Gunna. It was. I mean, come on. She's repeating words in the Gunna record that was already out. It's like the fact that they even have writing credits for that record is just crazy. But you don't need to do much to have a writing credit, okay? Um, all you got to do is harmonize a little bit. Uh, switch one or two words and then you can get a writing credit because they literally copy and paste, okay, what John B. did, okay? And I hope John B. gets his coin from Chloe and Gunna, okay? Um, but let me know what you guys think about it. Um, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and have an amazing day.